Hosea chapter 4, starting at verse 1. Hear the word of the Lord, you children of Israel. For the Lord brings a charge against the inhabitants of the land. There is no truth or mercy or knowledge of God in the land. By swearing and lying, killing and stealing and committing adultery, they break all restraint with bloodshed after bloodshed. And for this reason, the land will mourn. And everyone who lives there will waste away, along with the beast of the field and the birds of the air even the fish of the sea will be taken away. Hosea chapter 6, starting at verse 1. Come and let us return to the Lord, because He has torn, but He will heal us. He has stricken, but He will bind us up. After two days, He will revive us. On the third day, he will raise us up, that we may live in his sight. Let us know, let us pursue the knowledge of the Lord. His going forth is established as the morning. He will come to us like the rain, like the latter and former rain to the earth. Romans chapter 8 starting at verse 18 for I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which will be revealed in us for the earnest expectation of the creation eagerly waits for the revealing of the sons of God because the creation was subjected to futility not willingly but because of him who subjected it in hope because the creation itself also will be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious freedom of the children of God for we know that the whole creation groans and labors with birth pains together until now and not only they but we also who have the first fruits of the Spirit even we ourselves groan within ourselves eagerly waiting for the adoption which is the redemption of our body because we were saved in this hope but hope that is seen is not hope because why does one still hope for what he already sees but if we hope for what we do not see then we eagerly wait for it with perseverance Likewise, the Holy Spirit also helps us in our weaknesses because we do not know what we should pray for as we should pray. But the Holy Spirit himself makes intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Now he who searches the hearts knows what the mind of the Holy Spirit is because he makes intercession for the saints according to the will of God and we know that all things work together for good to those who love God to those who are the called according to his purpose starting at verse 31 what then shall we say to these things if God is for us who can be against us he who did not spare his own son 
but delivered him up for us all. How will he not with him also freely give us all things? Who will bring a charge against God's elect? It is God who justifies. Who is he who condemns? It is Christ who died, and furthermore is also risen, who is even at the right hand of God, who also makes intercession for us. Who will separate us from the love of Jesus Christ? Will tribulation or distress or persecution or famine, nakedness, peril, or sword as it is written for your sake we are killed all day long we are accounted as sheep for the slaughter yet in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us because I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other created thing will be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. God bless you, my friends.